Uh, hi everyone and welcome back to this series of electrical A1 circuits PO exams and this question is about AC analysis as I mentioned before the questions in A1 exam has three types different types there's DC analysis there is AC analysis and this transient now for the AC analysis basically your input is a sinusoidal function could be a sine or could be a cosine as we can see here so basically here you are giving the input as a cosine function okay so sinusoidal and you are basically asked to uh, find a certain uh, parameters now this type of questions we don't solve it in time domain we go and solve it in the frequency domain or in the phasers what we call AC analysis and then we can come back and represent the values in the time uh, domain as uh, requested. So let's see this uh, question. So here you are giving a voltage supply, you have an inductor, you have a capacitor, and you have the resistance, everything is in time domain. You wanna find the current, this current that goes here in time domain, and the voltage output here across the resistance also in time uh, domain. As I just mentioned, uh, we cannot solve, we can solve the circuit in time domain, but this will be very complicated because you will solve a, a second order non-homogeneous differential equation, which is basically very, very uh, difficult to do. Uh, however, in the AC analysis, it makes it much easier and you get the same output. So basically here what we do, the supply, we convert it from a sinusoidal function into basically a phasor. So we take the magnitude 100, and we take the angle, 20. So now the supply becomes like a phasor with a magnitude and an angle. Now let's move to the inductor. Now your inductor is basically 30 millihenry. This will be converted to a reactance. Its value is J omega L. So J times omega. Omega, you take it from the sinusoidal, which is 1000 times L, which is 30 times 10 to minus 3, because it is basically in millihenry. This will cancel, we get J30, and the unit is ohms. We go for the capacitor, the 50 microfarad capacitor. This is equal to minus J over omega C, so it is minus J over 1000. Again, this is omega, and your uh, C is 50 micro so 10 to the minus 6 and this uh, will give me minus j 20 so now this we don't use this anymore we will have j 30 for the inductor again here it is minus j 20 everything in ohm now we are set so this is your j 30 minus j 20 and here is basically your 100 ohm resistance and this is the output now the output will find it in phasors first and then we will convert that into into a time domain now we can find can solve this using nodal kcl kvl there are tons of techniques one way i will do that i will try to find the z1 which is the parallel combination so this would be now a voltage supply with the, this magnitude an inductor j30 and then z1 so this will be your z1 and here is your v output so what is z1 z1 is minus j20 in parallel with the 100 ohm which is minus j20 times 100 divided by minus j20 plus 100 and this will give me 19.6 angle of minus 78.7 ohm i really urge you to solve this with yourself trying to do all the calculations so that you are familiar with the calculations and sometimes i make some calculation errors okay because i don't have the the answer so sometimes i miss a number here and and there now we basically we have two impedances are in series the j30 and the Z1, and we want to find V out, and these two are also in series with the voltage supply, so we can use basically voltage division. So your V out is equal to the 100 angle of 20 
times, so this is the voltage supply, times Z1, which is the 19.6 angle of minus 78.7, divided by the summation of the two impedances in series, which is the J30 plus the 19.6 angle of minus 78.7, and this will give me a voltage equal to 171.33, angle of minus 129.1 volt. So now I found V out as a, a phasor. Now I can find V0 of T, very straightforward. This is the reverse process when I went from the time domain to the phasor. Now I need to go back. So basically I take the magnitude 171.33 cosine. Now since the frequency is 1000 radian per second, this is exactly the same frequency of the whole circuit. We have to have only one frequency. Otherwise, this in AC analysis cannot be applied. So this is equal to 1000 T, and then the angle minus 129.1. Then you want to find IL. IL is this current, which is basically the voltage divided by the summation of these two impedances. So basically it is 100 angle of 20 divided by the summation of the of these two impedance which is the j30 plus 19.6 angle of minus 79.7 this is equal to 100 angle of 20 divided by 11.44 and this will give me a current equal to 8.74 angle of minus 50.4 amps and from this, you can find the time domain of the current, which is 8.74 cosine 1000 T minus 50.4 amps. So this is the first part, which is to find the voltage and the current. The second question is to draw the phasor diagram for V0 and I L. Okay, so let me write down again. So your V0 is basically is equal to 171.3 angle of minus 129.1, and your I L is equal to 8.74 angle of minus 50.4. Let me change the color here. So let me draw the axis. So this is your x axis. Now going to part B, which is want to, we want to draw the phasor diagram of these two vectors. Okay. So to draw the phasor diagrams, then basically you need to have the, the x and the y axis set. Okay. So now your V0 is a vector with this magnitude and this angle. Okay. So this is our reference here. So basically the vector will be something like this. Okay, so your angle is minus 129.1, magnitude wise is 171.33, so this is your V naught. Then we need to find basically our uh, uh, current uh, vector, so the current vector would be another vector with a, a magnitude of 8.74, an angle of minus 50.3. Point four. This is your I L. So this is your phasor diagram. You draw like a vector with a magnitude and uh, basically an an angle. Okay. Now let's try to find the rest of the of the question here. So the question says here, uh, what is the power factor? What is the power factor? A power factor is equal to cosine theta v minus theta i. Now which V, which I, it says here, what is the power factor of operation of the supply voltage here? So that your voltage is basically the voltage of the supply and the current that comes of the supply, which is I L. So this is equal to cosine theta V, which is 20 minus the current angle is minus 50.4. This is equal to cosine 70.4 which is equal to 0.335 this is half the answer the second half you have to specify if this is a lagging or a leading power factor and what do you mean by this what is the current angle with respect to voltage 
does it lag it or lead it and since the current angle is less than the voltage angle it means the current lags the voltage so this will be like a lagging power factor part d what calculate the active and reactive power supplied uh, to the circuit by the source so how much active and reactive power supplied by the source uh, this is basically your p is equal to now since we are using time uh, domain not the rms this is the peak value so we are using the peak value the formula will be equal to one half the voltage 171.33 times the uh, peak value of the current which is 8.74 cosine the <coughs> angle the power factor angle which is the 70.4 and this will give me a total power of 251.16 watt your reactive power is exactly the same formula but instead of cosine we have sine it's one half 171.33 times 8.74 sine of 70.4 and this will give me 677.9 and the unit is basically var if i have the voltages and count as an rms value then you don't need to have to have the the half uh, the half here so that is basically the question so we not i noticed in the questions after the pandemic after the covid it combines ac with power a little bit of single phase power such power calculations i didn't see them in the questions before the the pandemic